everyone, Farak from Mass Creations. I love to a brand new video on the Simple Sequences Challenge or the Disney Challenges point where as well like <laughs> rename it. But anyways, so we're here with Simba and Scar. He has been spied to return back home to Pride Rock by Mufasa or Nick in our world in this series. And yeah, he's been spied to go back confront his uncle at Pride Rock. And yeah. So now we're going to have the big fight between Simba and Scar. Um, Scar dies and then Simba's king. So let's see what we're going to do today. Pretty straightforward, simple, low-key kind of short video. But let's do this. Let's do this. I'm so excited. And then next episode, I think we're going to have a wedding. A Simba and Nala wedding because it just makes sense. And also have some kids as well. So all the usual stuff. So let's go and press play and see how this ends up working out. Oh, okay, so yeah, Simba's returned and he's now confronting Scar. Because basically, Simba's been, you know, set to believe that it's his fault that Mufasa's is dead, whereas it's actually Scar. See, we all just know that, but Simba does not. So, I'll be interested to see his reaction when Scar blatantly admits that he killed his father. I don't think he'll go down well, do you guys? So, let's see. I mean, it's looking kind of. At the moment, oh, why are these guys chatting happily? I'm meant to be fighting. Rile him up, rile him up. You guys want to fight? You want to fight? Fight, fight. Sure, you want to. You want to um, rile up? You want to. Um, you want... I don't feel really pressed up, but we're also going to argue. Let's argue about music. Come on, go away. It's not your fight. You've got to. Use... I've got to fight everyone else, so bye. There we go. This is between Scar and Simba, Uncle and Nephew. Oh, and then um, Mufasa, aka Nick, is calling music. <laughs> okay, oh, this is getting interesting. Oh, fight! Already? Yes, we'll take it, we'll take it, we'll take it, because all them to fight. Like in the movie. Alright, let's fight, let's fight, let's fight. Yes! Okay, let's hope Simba wins, like in the movie, and let's hope Scar loses. Ready? Let's see. Oh, is it gonna be? Oh, oh, oops, let's go awkward. Scar kind of won. Okay. Also, as well, I've got the new pack, so we've got this soul's journey and all that stuff now, which is fun. Right, okay, I wanna try one more time because I really want Simba to win one. So we're gonna declare enemy and we're going to and fight again. I want to, I want Simba to win, okay? I want him to win. Um grunging. Well, the enemies. <laughs> Love that. Okay, let's see. Let's try again. I want Simba to win this time. Please Simba, you can do it. Let's go. Oh, I just heard a headbutt there. That sounds great. Come on, guys. Here we go. Oh, oh, he won again. It's awkward, really. Well, let's just pretend Simba won, okay? <laughs> Scar is clearly better than I thought at fighting. Let, let's just pretend that Simba won, okay? Let's just let's stick with that. <laughs> stick with that. So, yeah, Scar falls to his death. So, off you go, Scar. Death you go. Found here. And I guess he's a Mahinas, so it's uh, pretty morbid when you think about it that way. Um, this is kind of fun here actually because yeah, okay. Well, we use a toilet. Really, right now, this minute you need the toilet. Oh, crazy. Okay, now here's the crazy thing, the cool thing. Now I want Scar to be dead, and a good thing is now because of the new expansion part, we can actually quote unquote make our Sims die before they like, like without having to like try to. Basically, we can die without having to kill them. I mean, I do want to kill Scar, but, you know, <laughs> to make it less brutal, uh, there is a second option. You can actually go to the special um, lake and you can be a ghost temporarily. And that will honestly serve the purpose of what I wanted to do. So I'm going to do that instead of literally offering him because it's just a lot of effort. you got to just like trap him in the room and stuff. So I'm just going to like make him a ghost, you know, skip all that process. And then be like, he's dead, look at him. So let's kill him off. <laughs> and let's get to a new world to do it. I mean, it's a good job. We've got this pack. It's really convenient timing for this. So let's do this. 
Okay, so here is the special leg. I can't remember the name of it, but we're going to have a out of body experience and a quote unquote kill scar. So like I said, we don't have to actually brutally kill Sims anymore. If we want them to die in our storyline without actually having to kill them, we can now, which is great. So yeah, so look how cool and mysterious it is. It's so cool. I think this is my favourite location in this whole park. It's so fun. Yeah, come on, Scar, get in there. I need, I need a torch as well. <laughs> Come on, get in there. Simba has now killed you, you are now dead. Let's see the transformation, and there we go. He is becoming ghost temporarily. Ooh, oh my gosh, he's a blue ghost. How fun is that? Let's bring him over here. Ooh, how fun. Here's a ghost scar. Now, as a ghost, they can actually, well, they have like a different criteria here in the um, needs categories. Now, gooey, substance, slumber, all this stuff. So that's fun. And also with ghosts, um, they can haunt objects and large jars. So a lot of fun stuff. So yeah, it's just fun to get to just play around with ghosts now. Like they actually are an actual occult now, which is a lot of fun. Oh, also another thing as well I could have done easily too was just go and cast a Mega Mega Ghost because you can now because they're they're in a cult which is just so much better. I think ghosts are so much easier to have as an occult because you can actually use them as just throw lines so much easier. Now where are you going? Oh you're going in here for toilet, okay. Let's go for a burger, okay. Cool, do you want to make any do you want to make any ghost friends? Oh, another cool thing as well, another cool thing. You can actually like set a ghost colour. I kind of like this colour how it is, like the blue, but it wouldn't look quite good as like an orange ghost because, you know, Scar was orange. Maybe we could go for that. Yeah, look at that! It's really cool actually. He's got a swim costume, I want to see him in his actual outfit. Can we like change him to his regular outfit? That would look really cool. Now that we're going to steal some burgers. Oh, to be honest, I just wanted to play around with him a ghost today. <laughs> I kind of just like quietly off the scar but honestly because this episode wasn't gonna have much in it I can't just play with ghosts anyway so it's why I play with scar. Oh my gosh. Naveen my boy what happened to you? No you can't die. No. Okay who else is it? Edward from Enchanted. Why are so many of my sims dead here? What is this? Oh my gosh. Yes my talent by your mention Naveen. Dude are you dead? What's going on? Anyways, um, Scar is actually dead. Who's this guy? I have no idea. Oh, it was a grim person here. You can just put him if you want to, Scar. You want to do that? You know what? You don't need to sleep right now. You've got people to meet. Oh, and he's got his outfit on. Oh, he looks even better as a ghost, actually, than an actual person. Look at that! Like, his costume is so ghost vibes, you know? Like, with the whole suit and everything. Oh. Pretty cool. We make a friend. You better be a friend. Let's hang out. We can go scare. Oh, what objects can we haunt as a ghost? Actually, which one can we haunt? We haunt any out here. Ooh, what's this? Are you the guardian tree? Okay, throw that away. Ooh, is that a ghost? Weeping. Oh, it's the weeping mother. Oh, I've heard about her. We do a respectful introduction to her. Oh, we can talk about death. Did she like that? Us, us passing through it? <laughs> it's meant to be a joke. The scar is with a practical joke. Oh, she actually liked that. We're like just friends with the, the Weeping Mother now. Oh my god. I can't, remember, I can't remember what she does, to be honest. I think she's in charge of this tree, if I remember correctly. And some other stuff. Amongst some other stuff. Um, we can. Ravenwood Rumors, yeah we can do that. We'll Hogo I suppose, keep conversation. Okay so let's see here, can we summon this Alice person that she's been talking about? That could be fun. I think she like. oh she's very sad, I think she still likes us anyway. Oh has he started being evil? Uh, a little bit. Let's go toss this tree. I want to know about this honest person. Can we summon them? Are they a person? Is the tree called Alice? I don't know. Okay, let's do some creepy singing. Does that do anything? 
Are you the others? Are you others? I don't know. I'm not sure if we did anything. Right, Scar has kind of had his fun, I think. He's a very tired. I'll let him have a little nap on the bench. But the point is that he, he's dead, so, you know. Actually, we can just sleep when we get home. So we'll go home and we'll reclaim Simba as king. So let's do that. So we've got Scar, he died, we fell off the cliff from the hyenas. Which, <laughs> I'm trying to get back to the story now because that's distracting myself. Anyways, so Simba, you're going to go to the toilet. He needs to get ready for his first day of king tomorrow. So let's just get him all ready. And then he's going to get married next episode, which is going to be really cute. Oh, it's like childhood room. How adorable. Because it's been in this house for, yeah, we haven't been in this house for ages, like since the beginning. So it's kind of nice. It's kind of um, fun to kind of be back here. Oh, he's not in his bed. Actually, it's Scar in his bed. So we've got Simba for a minute there. It's not even Scar, actually. Who is this? Oh, it's Scar. Wait, why is it? Oh, right. His ghost powers run out. It's all right. So we prefer to use them up for a while. So that makes sense. <laughs> Simba's just talking with Nala here and Pumba. We can do a bit of um, expressing devotion here. In a woohoo in a hot tub. We can flirt. We can pick up wine. These guys are just really cute. Like, let's be real. Isn't that just an adorable little couple there? It's very cute. Oh my gosh. How sweet, how sweet is this? So in the morning we'll go and claim a place as king, which actually it is the morning, so basically whenever we've done this we'll, we'll do it. We'll walk across that pride rock and get all the animals to see us as a new king. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot we have a hot tub in this house, but we totally do. I honestly forgot we had one of those in here. And oh my gosh, they're being cute here as well. It actually reminds me of the actual um, the springs in the jungle. Because, you know, they kind of fall in that big pool of water sort of thing. So it's kind of reminds me of that a bit. Oh, they're being cute. Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh. Kiss. They can try for a baby. So obviously as well, guys, as a little thing here. I did actually age them up to young adults because I needed Simba to fight, fight Scar. And if I meant to get married next episode anyway, because it kind of makes sense. So I did do like a little tiny time jumps this last episode that's okay but yeah they'd be very cute okay so it's like you know they're just doing cute stuff i'm going to actually see if they can try for a baby because i think that would be interesting let's go and have simba walk and dance in the pride rock and then now it kind of pops up next to him because they are ushering in the next king Queen because it's actually Kiara um, who is the next in line which is super cute so we're going to just go here yeah I definitely think these guys can totally have their own baby because I kind of do want Kiara to be a thing for sure so I want, I kind of want Kiara and then Robin Hood to kind of be together well not be together be like the two babies that they have I think that would be so cute we're going to do a ball pickup line and whatnot but be a cute pairing as um, kids go, like um, Kiara and Robin Hood. The movie ends with um, Simba and Nala and their family on Pride Rock, and it's kind of like a literal circle of life. So it's all the movie he was on the rock, and it's the movie he's on the rock. So it's really cool, very kind of poetic and nice. So yeah, that's how it ends. And yeah, there we go. And now we can try the whole baby thing. Now we've actually ended the movie. I was like, really dragging that out. So yeah, I do want them to try for one. So I think we should go and have a look around here. Yeah, I want them to, I want them to try for a bit because I definitely, I mean, they're def we're definitely not having Robin Hood and Kiara. So either way, they are totally allowed to try for baby here. We don't need to do any sort of adoption stuff this time. So yeah, let's go. Okay, they actually want to do it this time. Okay, that is fun. Because, you know, we got to get that baby thing rolling. We've got another generation coming up very soon. Obviously, the firstborn would have to be Robin Hood because his generation is next. But their secondborn can totally be Kiara. And then we can have them too, which would be super cute. Fun times. And then, yeah, we can get married next episode, which is going to be so cute. I love a cute little line wedding. 
don't know if you had the wedding for a while in this series, so it could be quite fun. Okay, let's go here. It must be weird to have like a full household for like Judy. She's been like on her own for a while, a while, a while, a while. Oh yeah, also like made like so many things heirlooms now, which is so funny. Like look at this toilet, <laughs> like heirloom, like how fun is that? <laughs> I kind of want to make like random things like heirlooms now because <laughs> there's some funny things. Like, yeah, I'm gonna make this precious toilet my heirloom. Anyways, I'm trying to pregnancy test, see if anything comes from it. Yeah, the first one will be Robin Hood, no matter what. So, let's see what goes on here. Oh, she is actually pregnant. Yay! Fun times. Okay, there we go. So, our next generation is already being prepped already. So yeah, we'll have Robin Hood next, I think, and then, yeah, afterwards, Kiara can totally come as well, because, um, yeah, we can totally have Kiara, because uh, Kiara's one of those kids where I feel like you have to have, like, she's so iconic as far as Disney kids goes, so, yeah, I would totally be up for Kiara to join Robin after Robin Hood is born. Anyways, so that is it for today's video, I hope you all enjoyed it, remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all real soon.